Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 9.8. The statement of problem is that for the beam and loading shown, determine the equation of elastic curve for portion BC of the beam. Part B is deflection at the mid span and part C is slope at B. So what we have to find is that equation of elastic curve that y is a function of x for portion BC. Where? So BC is this portion. So we will find the equation of elastic curve for portion BC. In part B we have to find the deflection at mid span which is L plus L by 2 divided by 2 and in part C we have to find the slope at point B. So let's start with the solution. So before going further first of all we have to find the reaction force at point B and point C. So we will draw the free body diagram of this beam and we will find the reaction forces at this beam. So at point A there is a force which is given as P W L over 5. That is given over here. This is the value. At point B there is a reaction force which is R B and at point C there is a reaction force. R C now from B to C there are uniformly distributed loads so again if you convert it into concentrated load it will be W into total length which is given between B and C L and it will be acting at the half of L which is L by 2 and this will be also L by 2. Clear? Now you can apply the equilibrium condition that sum of all forces in a y direction must be equal to 0. So you can see there is of one force which is minus W L over 5 acting downward. There is a reaction force which is R B acting upward minus this force W into L plus R C equal to 0. So this is one equation. Now we will apply the second equation that sum of all moment about point C is equal to 0. Clear? So you can see that if this is a point C, so one uh, moment which is due to this force P and that will be counterclockwise will be W into L over 5 and that will be equal to total distance which is L by 2 plus L clear uh, sorry which is uh, W L by 4 which is equal to L by 2 plus L clear this the other force is R B which is producing counterclockwise so it will be positive Oh, sorry, clockwise. It will be producing clockwise, so it will be minus R B into perpendicular distance is L. But and then there is a force W L which is producing counterclockwise, so it will be W into L and perpendicular distance is L by two. Their sum must be equal to zero. So when you solve it, you will get. RB is equal to 4 over 5 WL. Now you have RB, you can put it over here and you can also calculate RC. Clear? Now you have RB and you are interested to find out the uh, equation of elastic curve for portion BC. So again, you will have to take the section at any point between B and C. So let this distance will be equal to X. Yeah, so I will draw the diagram over here. There is a P force acting 
which is equal to w l by 5 this p is equal to w l by 5 there is a reaction force at point b which is r b and we have find out this r b is 4 by 5 w l and there is a uniformly distributed load that is acting w and if you cut the beam at sec this section so there will be shear force and bending moment that this point is j and from r b to cut section this distance is x and again here this distance is l by 2 now we will apply the moment equation sum of all moment about point j is equal to 0 in order to get the equation of bending moment for portion bc so let for portion for portion bc only so x is greater than 0 and less than l x is greater than 0 and less than l clear so sum of all moment about point j is equal to 0 and counterclockwise taken as positive so you can see that this force P which is WL over 5 is producing a counterclockwise so it will be plus and it will be equal to L by 2 plus X this reaction force RB which is 4 over 5 WL and it will be producing clockwise rotation so it will be equal to minus 4 over 5 WL into X now this distributed load which is W into X and perpendicular distance will be X by 2 and it is producing a counterclockwise because it is acting downward so it is, will produce counterclockwise rotation about point J and plus there is a moment which is the reaction at J which is given if their sum must be equal to 0 so if you solve this so you will get moment is equal to 3 over 5 w l x minus 1 over 2 w x square minus 1 over 10 w l square now this is the required equation of bending moment for portion b c so this equation will be used in this e i into d square y over d x square is equal to m which is equal to 3 over 5 w l x minus 1 over 2 w x square minus 1 over 10 w l square so if you integrate it once it you will get e i into d y by d x will be equal to 3 over 10 uh, sorry. Uh, 3 over 10 w l x square minus this will this term will be equal to 1 over 6 w x cube this will be minus 1 over 30 no not 30 because there is no x so it will be 1 over 10 1 over 10 w l square into x plus c1 clear now again integrate it again integrate it you will get e i into y is equal to this will be 3 and 3 3 will cut it will be equal to 1 over 10 w l x cube minus 1 over 24 w x 4 this will be equal to 1 over 20 w l square x square 
plus c1 x plus c2 now c1 and c2 are unknown constant so we will apply boundary condition boundary conditions so what will be the boundary conditions so we will look at the bow you can go upward so you can see at point b we have uh, at point b which is at x is equal to zero y will be equal to zero and at point c which is equal to x is equal to l y is again zero so we will apply these two boundary conditions and below to get the reflection so our first boundary condition is that at x is equal to zero y is equal to zero and the second boundary condition was at x is equal to l y is equal to n and we will apply boundary condition on this equation that this equation is equation a clear so put first boundary condition x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 in equation a so when you put x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 in this equation so this y will become 0 this x will all the x term will be equal to 0 so c2 will be equal to 0 you can see this y will be 0 this all x terms will be 0 so c2 will be 0 now you will put the second boundary condition which is at x is equal to l y is equal to 0 in equation a so at x is equal to l y is equal to the, this term will be equal to 0 and this term will be equal to 1 over 10 w l l cube l cube minus 1 over 24 w l 4 minus 1 over 20 w l square into l square plus c1 into x and x is l so c1 into l plus c2 is 0 so again if you calculate it c1 will comes out to be minus 1 over 120 w l cube clear okay so you can see it is l4 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 and c1 okay so this is c1 and c2 now you can put the value of c1 and c2 in equation a put C1 and C2 in equation A. So what will you get? You will get EI into Y is equal to 1 over 10 W L X cube minus 1 over 24 wx4 minus 1 over 20 wl square x square plus c1 is 1 over 20 120 wl cube into x and c2 is equal to 0 so again y will become equal to w over ei E I into one over ten 
एन एक्स क्यूब माइनस वन ओवर ट्वेंटी फोर एक्स फोर एक्स फोर माइनस वन ओवर ट्वेंटी एन स्क्वेयर एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस वन ओवर ट्वेंटी एन क्यू इंटू एक्स इज इक्वेशन ऑफ इलास्टिक कर फॉर पोर्शन बी सी ऑफ द यू सो दिस वॉज पार्ट ए नाउ पार्ट बी इज दैट यू हैव टू फाइंड द डिफ्लेक्शन एट मिड स्पैन सो मिड स्पैन मीन्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू एल बाई टू there so when you put x is equal to l by 2 so y at mid span will be equal to you will put it l by 2 and when you calculate it you will get y n is equal to minus 13 w l 4 over 90 20 pi so this was part 2 there Part C was you have to find the slope at point B, which is equal to at x is equal to zero. So now you have this value. You can take the derivative here, and you can put. Okay, we will take the derivative of this, or you can also use the. Equation of deflection. So dy by dx will be equal to w or e i into three over ten l x square minus one over six x cube minus one over ten l square x minus one over Twenty l cube. This is l square x. There, you can use this equation and take the derivative. You will get this, and this is equal to slope. So at x is equal to zero, slope will be equal to point B. There, so this term will be equal to zero. This will be zero. This will be zero. It will be equal to W. L cube over one twenty pi, and that will be equal. That will be minus. So means clockwise angle at point B. So this was all about problem nine point eight. I hope you have learned a lot from this video. and if you like my video kindly share it with others as well thank you